this hold my phone? I reckon it will. All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. All right, I have a question. How many of you people, of you people, that was rude of me, how many of you guys are salesmen? How many of you are salesmen? Okay. By the way, guys, the Forex Bible, I told you guys already, will be sent after the final course. I told everybody that already. But how many of you are salesmen? How many of you guys sell products? Men and women. Okay, you guys share the feed. All right. I'll tell you what I want to talk about. A lot of you guys here, all right, want to be an entrepreneur. A lot of you guys here want to move your own business or push a product. All right. However, when it comes to sales, all right, a lot of you guys who sales, I want to teach you some valuable lessons in sales, okay? Every single one of you is a salesman. I don't care what job you do. Every single one of you on here sells from the moment they open their eyes in the morning, all right? When a guy comes up to you and he says, what are you drinking? I'm drinking coffee, it tastes good. You just sold him on that coffee, all right? When a guy comes up to you at a gas station and says, that's a nice car. Well, I bought that car last year from so-and-so. You just sold him on that car, you're selling. You're selling without even knowing that you're selling, all right? But what is the difference with selling a product you own already and have used like this coffee than selling a product that you're about to create. It's the passion behind the product because I have tasted this coffee a hundred times. I can tell you that this coffee tastes fucking great. So when you ask me, how's your coffee? I love my coffee, it tastes amazing. It's got a little bit of a hazelnut flavor to it. I bought it from so-and-so and this is how much it costs. Trust me, man, you'd love it, try it out. I'm selling you on something that's not even mine. I'm not even making money on this. I'm not making a dime on this coffee, but I'm selling you on it because that's human nature. All right? So for the individuals out there, okay, who are in the sales field and are working commission-based jobs because commission-based careers can yield you decent amount of money. For those individuals, all right, you gotta look at your product like your mug of coffee. Everything you sell needs to be your coffee because you're passionate about that coffee. You've tried that coffee numerous times. If you're selling a product to me and you come to me and you say, you know what? You know, I've got this new skateboard line that I launched. I got this new commission, uh, new commission. I, you said commission, you made me say commission. You, you entered my mind. I've got this new clothing line that that I launched, unless you're coming to me with passion, I'm just gonna look at it as another sales pitch. But if you come to me and you say, you know what, see this shirt I'm wearing? Buddy, I've washed this shirt 60 times and not once has the color faded out. Every I've, I've gone like 10 compliments a day about it. Now I'm starting to pay attention to that. You know what I mean? So the most important thing when it comes to individuals who are selling a product is you must believe in the product and you must be passionate about it. If you're not passionate about the product, if you don't believe in the product, you will never be able to sell the product. All right? Now, that could be Forex, that could be clothing, that could be cowboy hats. All right? What up, South Texas? So, instead of having an elevator pitch, have passion. Passion towards a product will yield sales. Elevator pitches will only yield moment, you know, moments where you may have the individual's attention and then he'll just move on to the next, all right? So, I just wanna to touch upon that because I know a lot of you guys are doing sales and your, your, if your numbers are not, your targets are not there, 
It's because you're not passionate. You're not selling your product with passion and belief. You gotta make it look like you would use that product 24 hours a day, 10 times on Sunday, and 50 times on a Monday. You know what I mean? You gotta make it look like this is your product. You love this product. You can't live without this product. Right? This product is so fucking amazing. You know, how do you talk about your, if you go buy a new car, right? If you go buy a new car and you love it, you know when you meet up with your buddies for lunch and how passionate you are, dude, I love this car so much. Man, the sound system is so sick. When you turn the music up, the bass is there, boom, 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 boom. You're selling with passion, conviction. But if you come to someone and say, hey, are you interested in this cool wallet that I have for sale? My company sells it for $10.99. I can sell it to you for $8.99. You're not gonna get anyone's attention like that. You gotta come in with passion, conviction, and belief. All right? Clinton, Clinton, thank you for calling me a cunt. I appreciate that. So you gotta go in with passion. You gotta go in with conviction and, and, and believe in your product, all right? That's the only way you're ever gonna make a sale. Like Clintock just called me a cunt, but he didn't have conviction. I don't believe that he called, I don't believe that he means it. I think he genuinely means that Reza, I wanna kiss your ass, that's why I'm on your feed. But he, he called me a cunt with no passion. Now, if he called me, you, if he said you fucking bearded cunt, I may have been offended. So Clintock, you're not taking my advice properly. So with that being said, guys, passion. Passion brings sales, all right? I love you guys. Um, have a wonderful day, Clintock. Thank you for calling me a cunt. Um, you guys are the best. Talk to you soon. Hey, Forex tonight, don't forget. Forex tonight, all right? Tonight, Forex, Forex in about six, seven hours, all right? Much love and blessings.